Mr Chair. I call Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Chairman, and just following on from what Jenny Sage was saying, I wanted to say first of all about part one, that the purpose is stated as being to establish a transitional elected and appointed mixed uh, ECAN. But actually it doesn't say anywhere why, and nor has the minister uh, or any other person from the uh, National Party yet explained comprehensively comprehensively why there needs to be a mixed elected or appointed body. The bill itself certainly doesn't say that, even in the purposes section. And furthermore, section 31C refers to, quote, a majority of members of the council to be elected, unquote, but that majority is usually only one. So it's the least possible paper-thin majority that is possible. And as we will see when we come to discuss part two, there won't necessarily always be a majority of elected people either. But that's something for us to discuss later. So really this is uh, not just a hybrid, it's a hybrid which may actually not be in any way at all democratic. And in fact, you can't really describe a body which is partly elected and partly appointed anyway as democratic. And the point is this, Mr Chairman, the crux of the whole bill is just this. There actually isn't any need at all after six years for any appointed members of ECAN at all. Yeah. As I've said, there is no justification in the bill and nor has the minister described why that should be necessary in any way that I've heard uh, to be comprehensive or meaningful. And when you look at the um, objectives of the 2010 appointments, fundamentally to make sure that the CWMS was developed, adopted and given effect to, then you could say that today, as we speak, that's actually already been achieved. And so again, it has been achieved. I mean, I live in Canterbury and I'm the chairman of the Central Plains Water Trust. I actually take notice of these things and what is there is already so well entrenched that it would simply not be possible at all for that to be done away with either in practice or in, by any process. So there is no reason any longer for the continuation of any commissioners. Now I'd like to hear the Minister comment on that. And a return to democracy is in fact essential after six years because ECAN has already lost its credibility as a representative body for the people of Canterbury. It's already lost that. The years have been too long and too difficult for it to be seen in that way anymore. So it's a very serious thing when that happens and it shouldn't go on for another three years to make nine years in total. And it's wrong also to treat Canterbury differently from any other region for such a very long period of time. And I will say this, I agreed with one thing with the Minister, that in 2010 it was necessary, I believe, for ECAN to have been replaced by appointees. But in fact, nine years will be far, far too long for that continue without any really robust reason for that. And as I've already said, um, without a fully elected body, you cannot regard the new ECAN, the transitional one, Mr Chairman, as being in any way democratic at all, because it's simply not possible for it to operate in that way with so many appointed members. New Zealand First is committed to an effective local democracy, which means elected people. So it's one thing to dismiss elected councillors way back in 2010, but it's another thing altogether for it to go on for nine years. That's a tremendously long period of time. And in fact, the time should have been the shortest possible time because in the cabinet paper pre uh, prepared for the, at the time of the Creech report, it actually said this, uh, Mr Chairman, it says, and I will quote, uh, the explicit intent is for the commissioners to withdraw and be replaced by elected representatives as soon as their task is achieved and the present systematic issues are resolved, unquote. And as I've already said, 
that in fact has already been achieved. Mr Chairman, Mr Chairman. Mr. Chairman. So the government has not explained why the appointment of, con of commissioners should continue to be necessary after six years. And it needs to do that if it's to have any credibility with this bill at all. So I would ask the minister to actually stand up right now and give us a full explanation of why that is necessary.